Hello. Hey, Queen. Hello. 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 How are you? Hi, I'm good. Yes, I'm good. Yes. Oh, yes. this melanated, melanated, yes. chocolate is just like, ooh. Yes, definitely. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, beautiful. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful. Um, so we'll go ahead and get, get right into yes, it. We'll get right into this. Mm -hmm. So guys, thank you so much. I know as people are coming in, we thank you so right, much for joining us for another episode of Genius oh. Indie Help. Indeed. So, all right. And today we have a beautiful, very talented special guest, Miss um, Empress J. Empress J. And you already know that we bring nothing but the realest yes. of artists that are in our very own backyards right here to this segment to have real conversations. Yes, real, real conversations, conversations with no other. Your Host a show with Redway and my beautiful co host Hello. with the most of Danielle Meeks. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing good. Beautiful. So we're gonna go go right jump right into it. <laughs> so, you know it's the, you know how Instagram does. I don't know something with that damn algorithm. Yeah, like, I don't know what it is. It is since the whole little update. They got a little something going on. I'm sorry. What's happening? I missed the update. What happened? Yeah, it was like a, it's like an update with like through their messenger. Yeah, like there's somebody like, that anybody's live no more. Yeah, like they don't really say like the whole live, like you're going live. It's like they pick and choose who they want. Yeah. It's, I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah. But I'm quite sure, you know, every time they have the update, then they'll, they'll get it right in like next two weeks. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, oh my goodness. So Empress J, oh my goodness. Singer, songwriter. All right, guitarist. guitarist. Ah, yeah. I mean, just a you know, just listening to your music, just have a beautiful spirit. You know, I haven't had the pleasure to meet you in person, but I'm lovely. I, I can I can tell right now you're just zooting, you know, energy. Yeah. Um. So first off, talk about being a Jamaican descendant, being, and then you're living here. You from in BK, being raised in BK. Um, and <laughs> And starting your music career because I know you have a whole family line, yeah, of music, right? And and it's in, it's in the blood. So talk about that and starting your music career, and talk about and how important the representation is, you know, to represent your country. Yeah. Okay. Um. So first and foremost, I am gonna say this, put this on record. I think there's something in the water in Jamaica. There's a lot of talented people from Jamaica. So I'm just like. One out of the many, and I have no choice but to represent because it comes out in my accent sometimes, but and it comes out in my music and who I'm inspired by, and sometimes how I flow, and sometimes how mm -hmm. I, I let me see, um, what's the word project myself? Mm -hmm. It's because of the Jamaican voice that's in my head and in my blood. So, all of the beautiful music you're hearing, it's all like sprouting from the pot Just of Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. I'll put that on record first and foremost. Listen, as you should. Right. Right. Claim right. 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 That's that. Yes. That's what you got to do. But then now I moved. Then I'm, I was traveling back and forth from Jamaica to America when I was a little kid. So mm -hmm. that, like, hard of a transition, because I went to, like, elementary school here, junior high school, like, back and forth, high school, the whole nine. So Brooklyn more so shaped my my delivery, I would mm -hmm. say. And... Jamaica inspired it. So it okay. I don't know if that made sense, but that's exactly <laughs> No, no, no. It that makes sense. perfect sense. Definitely. Okay. So you started off originally like you were singing in church. Yes. Um, how did you transition from singing into church into doing your own thing? Grow some dreads. They'll kick you out. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> don't quote me now. <laughs> But it literally was kind of like that because I was um, like choir leader and praise and worship team singer. From mm -hmm. I was six, I was singing in front of the whole church for the, um, what do you call that? Like conventions and church retreats and the, mm -hmm. whole, the whole shenanigans. But then um, I grew up around music because my godfather owned the studio, but my parents were still like very into church. So I just followed suit. And then I was like, mm, I don't really want to sing that stuff. How did they? How did you like tell them like, uh, 
I don't like, yeah, how do you break that to them? Because you know. <laughs> <laughs> So you go to Jazz and they just was like, oh, you're a rebel. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, like, rebel. no I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to do, a, have a music career when mm. I brought my dreads. I just love singing regardless, in church, on the street, on the phone, with my friends, in the lunchroom, anywhere. But then I started growing my locks and then the church was like, mm, we're not really feeling that. But and what does that like, signify? Growing locks, what really does that signify feeling. if you have locks, like in the um, church? Okay, so this church is like Seventh Day Adventures. Have you ever heard of like? Yeah. Oh, they're they're all they're really yes. Sure. Okay, gotcha. Like you can't wear earrings. Okay, got it. My wow, husband's Jamaican. Yes, yeah. he told me about it growing <laughs> up. Oh, I know you can't have locks when at the Seventh Day. Wow, that's interesting. Well, mine is more um, like Church of God, so it's more rooted in Jamaica. So a lot of the culture of Jamaica is stemmed in that church. It's the same, same difference, but they're a little more stricter. That's all. Okay. Got it. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was mostly um like culture music and and like growing my dreads that kind of forced me into saying, you know what, this is what I want to do. Music, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um and oh no, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um. So thing threw you guys off. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. Believe me. <laughs> So the one thing, so we talk about the, the culture, we talk about the representation. I mean, how important is it? Like, cause you know, with the scene, we have a, like you said in the beginning, there's a lot of talent that's in Jamaica and that came out of Jamaica. And, and we done seen that. And, and, you know, even with the past few years, they're bringing it like different, you know, even the African culture, everything to Afrobeats, bringing that to attention. Um, talk about your individuality. Like what, separates you from other artists that are really emerging from out of the Jamaican culture scene or just even here, just R&B, period? Um, what separates me, I would think, all right, so what separates me from the Jamaican artists is the fact that I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> what separates me from the American and R&B artists is from, I'm from Jamaica. So it's like a bit of both worlds, but I personally, if that's what most most um, feedback I get, and um, mm -hmm. you know, but I personally think um, me, I just want to be a rock star. It don't matter if it's from Jamaica or if it's in America. I just want people to hear the music and just feel it. I want to sing healing music. Like it doesn't have to be like all sad or love songs. Right. Yeah. Like everything I give out, it should be. You know, a little healing and a little message somewhere in there. So that can that will separate me from a couple of other artists because R and B don't really sing culture and culture music don't really sing R and B lyrics. So I'm kind of infusing it. It's like reggae infusion or like neo reggae. Mm, that, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that, look that at that. That's different. We got we got a new category. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's neo reggae. I, like I love that. that. Yeah. Neo reggae, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Listen, let me find out she started a whole new category of like genre of music. But no, that's super dope. And I think like it's so dope that you, you live in Brooklyn because Brooklyn, I mean it's, it's a heavy West Indian um Influence. borough. Jesus Christ. I got a little bit. It's a heavy West Indian borough. And it's just like you really like you left home but you really didn't leave home. So it's like you still have like the influences of Jamaica and Brooklyn. Um, yeah. But how did you know, you like, all right, I really want to have, like, a whole career in music? Well, you said in Brooklyn. I didn't hear the last part of what you said. No, so how do you know that you wanted to have, like, a whole career in music? Um, okay, so 2019, someone just gave me a call, and they were like, oh, I need you to open up for Sizzla, and I'm like, oh, um, okay. I have any songs. He's like, well... The makeup one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, say less. Go on, on the slide. The show, had the whole outfit and the background singers did it real life. Like I was I, I was doing it my whole life. And after that, people kept asking me, like, yo, so where's the next song? Where's the next track? And I'm like, oh, oh. I gotta be real. So now like, you gotta on to something. thousand hours of studio time and your yeah, writing time and go to vocal training. It was mm -hmm. like day, night, and I'm here now. So it's 2019, Wonderful. I started to take it like completely nine to five, five to nine, the whole work. 
that's good. No, that's, that's good. So amazing. Um, so you talk about you opened up for SZA. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about that experience. Like, just how amazing was that to really just be on stage with and and with a legend? Like, I mean, just and you didn't even have singles out, yeah. right? And you know, music out, but they they knew of your reputation. They obviously it it stood well. Yeah, <laughs> and your sound obviously you have a talent because yeah. obviously your voice is very powerful. Neo Reggae, <laughs> and you making categories right? Neo Neo Reggae. So definitely talk about that experience and and you know and then how it affects you afterwards. Like um, for the Sizzla, okay. So opening up for Sizzla off rip was like it didn't even matter if I went and sang a Sizzla song. Opening up for him was. Yeah, an experience yeah. all in itself um it was very nerve-wracking because as you said i didn't have any songs out but i'm crazy so we're just gonna go on the stage with the new songs we got that we just wrote two weeks ago before the show and kill it nobody knew except us right now and probably a couple of other people and he was like i heard you he i spoke to him after the show and he was like i heard you sound good might need up on a tour i'm like what <laughs> I wrote these I've songs. Heard tour. <laughs> so what's, up? What, what's the date? Where are we going? <laughs> and then Corona happened, so. Oh, oh damn, man. Rona. But yeah, yeah, I had. That yeah. was that was a good 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 moment for our, our rude awakening for me. Mm -hmm. Probably four thousand four thousand to five thousand people there, and I was like, the people were responding to me pretty good. Told you again. <laughs> they won because they don't know me. They didn't right. know me, but they were receptive. Like, the crowd was very receptive. I was like, hello, and they were like, hey. I was like, hmm, okay. I got them. <laughs> yeah, say less. I got them. <laughs> so I just want to piggyback off, if you don't mind. Um, I want to piggyback off that because you talked about, you know, the performance and the energy and, then, you know, asking to go on tour. COVID happened. So how has quarantine, well, first of all, how, how have you and your family and, and friends have been through quarantine and, and how did it affect you creatively and if there has been something you had to realize to do different during that this time um, in the pandemic? Um, so COVID has made a whole lot of life changes for me since the current i'm i'm way more innovative i am i'm starting businesses and i'm huh. starting just starting stuff to start them and follow through with um some of my ideas and stuff like that but with creating the music all right covid is horrible right it's a horrible the pandemic is horrible but i've been making music through the whole time like mm -hmm. right and recording so it did affect me but it kind of put me in the zone like you're locked in anyway because you practice can't go nowhere yeah, yeah practice your guitar more write an extra song today um to have a chat with your producer see what's going on like simple simple little stuff like that that made no one happen and for the video to release because no one and all those songs are like during the course of the 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 the, the shift of real life to virtual life <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, yeah, Corona. It was, but my family, everyone was safe for um for the most part. Yeah, everybody okay, was safe. Inside, everybody masked up, hand sanitizer. It was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And you mentioned starting up. What new businesses? Like, are you starting up? Uh, I have my own label and entertainment company. You gotta go ahead. Congrats. Yeah. Listen, what's the, what's the name? Empress JTR and the the label is Empress Music Group EMG for the label. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we so got it. We got it. Huh? I started listen. painting. You started painting? Yep. Corona. Okay. All right. Listen. Crazy. All right. I'm right. right. Never stop. So I want to get into this single. You bought up no one. I want to get into. Mm -hmm. Amazing track, amazing video. song, video. The the visual is just off the chain. You have a lot of energy, um, you know, and and also, you know, congratulations on a lot of your your um, magazine features as well. Um, talk yeah. about 
the creative process and, and, and coming up with the video treatment? Because I believe the song was pr um, produced by uh, Khalil Ja, if I said that correct. Uh, Kelly Ja. Kelly Ja, okay. Yeah. And like California and Ja. Oh, Kelly, Kelly Ja. ja. Kelly. Okay, yeah. so forgive me. We try to get, get pronunciation <laughs> correctly. Um, and like I said, the song is just amazing. Talk about the creative process and also working with with for the production and coming up with all of the treatments. Okay, so um, the song itself, like the, the literal audio part of it, was written like I did a like a overnight camp out session the night before, and mm -hmm. Kelly Kelly started making the beat the the night. And I'm like, mm, it's good. I'm going to sing on it. But I wanted to sing, like, I don't remember what I wanted to sing about that night. <laughs> and then I, I slept, I fell asleep, woke up the next morning, and I'm like, the, the phrase, no one kept, like, popping back up in my head. Because when I'm writing my music, I would, like, freestyle, whatever. But mm -hmm. no one just kept coming into the freestyle. So I'm like, all right, okay, I'm going to lean to this energy, even though I didn't want to get all in my feelings and stuff on this track. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards it and we have the song. And only only edit that the vocals had was probably like towards the probably like two weeks before the release. Mm -hmm. Two months before the release. Like I would put like a little ad libs in it, but the song was basically um pretty completed that night. So it, okay. that this one experience happened like that, my creative process. Normally it's not a sleep on it and wake up and and it happened. So this one was very special. No one was special. <laughs> oh, amazing. And I was going to actually ask you what, what I don't know if this like is a real life situation, but what actually inspired the song No One? She need the beats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's a little too relatable. Like, yeah, it's, in, it's written all in the magazines. <laughs> yeah. But I'll give you the details. Um, it's kind of like what the video is saying because I wrote the treatment off of my real life experience that I was having or my feelings mm -hmm. I was having. Um, so my ex, I was in a, a relationship prior, broke up. It's all good. And I know that I'm the best thing that he's ever going to have. Or Girl, I'm do it again. In the past or... <laughs> <laughs> in a different planet on a different planet i'm still gonna be the best and it was also a reminder for myself the day, the day i was writing the song like mm -hmm. no one could love empress better than empress no one could love so-and-so better than empress because i was given a hundred percent and i didn't mm -hmm. receive a hundred percent so that wasn't going to be a relationship that was going to work it's more like a affirmation kind of Hold your head up, hold your chin up. Yeah, no. It's cute. My makeup is no. Nah, that's the song. This is this is the song that we need. This is the song the queens need. Exactly. Anthem. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, the the that track was is definitely amazing. I I love everything about it. The the powerful words. So anybody that knows me knows I'm about lyrics. <laughs> I'm about listening to lyrics. Very powerful. Very inspiring. So for you as a writer, and as obviously I'm gonna say performer because obviously you've done before on stage, you sing in front of me, <laughs> and as a musician, maintain putting your commitment into all of your works, you know, is very important. What would you say like? your biggest sacrifice has been to order to pursue this music for all of that you're working on at this present time? Um, there's two major sacrifices that I would say. I wasn't around my family for a lot of that time. I wasn't around mm -hmm. my sons, my kids around that um, for a couple of like weeks here and there because I'm locked in the studio trying to get my hours in, I'm not eating, not sleeping. <laughs> Girl, uh, uh, what else? Um, sacrifice. Also, I I wouldn't say this was a sacrifice, but I'm gonna say a sacrifice. Sacrificing the old me for the real me, just mm. every day in its old totality, like mm -hmm. the good, bad part. 
it's like phoenix rising like it's like a rebirth my music okay. is rebirth so sacrificing the old me and my family that's mostly what i sacrificed yeah now that i'm thinking about it i'm like oh yeah that happened oh <laughs> no but obviously you're doing what you love yeah. you know it's definitely gonna pay off because you know you're you're definitely a, a really true talent um and in the midst of everything that you're doing and i mean just keep on going you know it would definitely that sacrifice would definitely pay off um so who inspires you and i know you gotta like you said we said in the beginning you have um a whole family that's it music is just in the blood you know who inspires you to basically to just continue in music you know and you know what gives you that motivation to say hey you know what i might got kicked down a couple of times but you know what i'm gonna continue to stay up and just keep on rolling with the punches here um my mama <laughs> and my mom kind of Hi, mama. keeps me going um she's like yeah you sing strong yeah you have to sing strong i'm like got you this i got you mom but um, musical influences, I would say, like, artist-wise, it, it, is that what you're asking? Like, which artist? Is yeah. That? Okay. Um, I would say James Brown. Okay. Sam okay. Bob Marley, right? Of course. Of course. Um, of, course. of course. Of course. Lauren Hill. Uh, let's see. Tracy Chat, like. If y'all don't know Tracy Chapman, get to know who Tracy Everybody on the live. Um, let's see. Yeah, that should be it. Oh, Whitney, oh my God. I almost forgot Whitney. Whitney Houston. Those are all. It's a package of. Rest in peace. All, oh, rest in peace. I almost forgot Whitney. Can't forget Whitney. That's an amazing <laughs> list of artists, yeah. definitely. I mean, you list, you list legendaries oh and, and a powerful um like great voices. writers too great right oh right, yeah yes um i just want to talk about like you learned recently how to play the guitar talk about that like talk about that a little bit uh, the guitar yeah. learning to play the guitar hurts that's another sacrifice i had to make learning what? hurts but it's worth it mm -hmm. you, yeah like i had to cut my nails off and stuff like uh... that <laughs> simple stuff like that but I love it because it it's like another voice I have. It's like I'm singing um, vocally, but the guitar is also, I wouldn't say singing, but music is mm -hmm. also yeah, excluding from it. So it's like another voice I have, like a backup singer or a lead singer. I'm the backup, the guitar is the lead or the guitar is the lead. Mm -hmm. and I'm the yeah, but no. learning, learning was, I would say, a little challenging for me. Mm -hmm. it hurt. Yeah. But then my teacher, I learned from a teacher. He was letting me know that the reason why I caught on so quick is because I sing. So my ears and the right tones and the right keys and chords were, were a little easier to pinpoint for me. So ah, it's okay. it to be for someone that does no music at all. But for someone that sings or does music, it comes a little, a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. That's a good time. Yeah. yeah. No, that's definitely good to know. All right. So I got a question because, you know, we talked about, we talked about, your, you know, your features and like we said, congratulations again. You know, you know, one of them, they talked about you being a ghostwriter. Ooh. Who uh -huh. told so, <laughs> She said, who told you that? I, I, I don't, I don't want to get, you know, I want to ask you who, like, but you know, it's a ghostwriter. No, I'm a ghost. Right. Exactly. I'm saying I'm not, I, I want to ask you, but I'm, we're not gonna go. We get it. You ghost. You we you yeah, ghost. I'll, I'll, I'll but what you. what actually led you to to get into ghostwriting? All right. Someone asked me, and I was like, sure. They just I, come into you. Ghost, you got the juice. I go. I was. I ghost. I ghost write for someone when I was younger, um, mm -hmm. in gospel, and then when I got a little bit older. So it's like. People don't really, nobody knows because I'm the ghostwriter, but yeah. Right, of course. <laughs> but what made you choose that route? So, I, you know, for me, you know, I'm a music head, so now I have to think about the business side now. What made you actually choose that route than actually getting, putting your name on it to be able to get that credibility for that long run in royalty? Um, I wrote the song, 
that part kind of mm-hmm. um, stuff. Yeah, I wrote the song. And the person, I was, um, I would say, I was na- naive to music mm-hmm. business at that point. So now that you're saying it, I'm actually noticing it myself. That person was actually protecting me for putting my name on the song itself for me to get royalties and yeah. stuff long term. So it was more on the artist side for looking out for the sister. So that was beautiful. And I like writing music and, and challenging myself, like, can you do it, sis? And I did, so. Listen, can you do it, sis? And you did. Listen, I, you know, I just wanted to kind of make sure, you know, like just, just kind of get an idea um, from an actual person who has done ghostwriting. So, you know, because we hear it a lot about in the industry and, you know, and a lot of, there are, there are, misfortunes that yeah. take place where artists are they don't get the credit they don't have the 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 protection or you know that someone's looking out for them and to be able to say you know regardless like hey i'm protecting you but yeah i'm gonna make sure you're set mm-hmm. in order to get what you need in regards to this when it comes to something you created yeah so you know i thought i just definitely wanted to dig dig on that um very grateful now that you're pointing it out i'm very grateful to the person that did that. Okay. Well, big up to them because <laughs> <laughs> everybody is don't always think like that. Yeah, they don't have the best attention. Either. They don't exactly. Um, and I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, my my question is, how do you plan to make your mark? Like, what is it? What are the steps that you plan to do to make your mark on the music world? Um, one be proudly myself and be probably different, which is my individuality. Just be myself, mm-hmm. be the star I wanna be, be the healer I wanna be, not trying. I'm done trying, just be it. Do it, I'm yeah. Girl with the dreads that's touring the world and breaking guitars on stage, be it. Talk about it, talk it about it. Right. <laughs> it Definitely. Just living in the moment and just being, being mm-hmm. what I aspire to be. Like, it's not just a reach anymore. It's like, get up, go for it, do it. So I plan on leaving my mark by putting in the hard work, mm-hmm. and singing some dope songs, and letting people get used to my voice. And I, and I like that you said, like, even before you spoke about making healing music, um, like, music, like, everybody loves music. And I think it's, it's fun to have, like, a vibe to, like, listen to. But it's also good to have music that can heal you. Yeah. You know, like, you know, we all go through different things. And that's sometimes... For me, music is like my therapy. Like I listen to music a lot, and it, it is a healing. It's a healing process, and I love the fact that you make music that is healing for other people. Right, your bag. Right. So yeah. So, Empress J, we want to thank you so much for definitely tuning in and just definitely dropping a lot of gems yes. and saying <laughs> a lot of important things and talking about yourself as an artist. Um, making a new genre of music. Yeah, and you, you know, created a whole category of new genre of music. Y'all don't know, and for sure, she Y'all better me, learn it. Neo reggae. Neo reggae. All right? You gotta better learn it. Y'all heard Dial it first. It in. Y'all heard it first. Here. Neo reggae. Right here. Right here. <laughs> so, th- the one thing I know, you know, I, when can we expect an upcoming EP album? What like and, and what would be what what feeling should we get from it? What 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 should we expect from it? Um, it's a surprise. I hate surprises. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, I could I could I could let you know a little. Just a bit. little. Just, just a little. Yeah. Too. I mean, we got no. Oh. I don't have a specific like EP planned or album or anything, but the next single to come out should be another bop make you feel good make you want to do a little little (laughs) yeah but yeah you can expect for just great things from empress j good music feel good music yeah that's what that's what the world needs anybody you looking forward to like working with who who you want to work with work with uh I, i'm gonna say i would love to do a feature with j cole mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, all right dreamville yeah. make that happen yes <laughs> i would i would like to do a feature with my girl coffee okay oh, all right I, I, too. Coffee, yeah. um, I can hear i can, I can hear a blend of that your voices together like that that would be dope 
That would be dope. That would definitely be dope. With protege and yeah, protege. Yeah, I'd like to okay. do. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So of course, as we read this to a close, yeah. we always ask our favorite question mm -hmm. or our our favorite, I guess, closing, closing question. question. <laughs> um. So we thank you, like I said, just for coming in and really speaking your mind and speaking, you talking about your creativity, your artistry. Um, the one thing that we always like to close out with is that we're talking to someone who's an indie artist, someone who's in the business, someone who's working towards to, get to pretty much keep leveling up each time. What encouragement can you provide to other artists that are looking to say, hey, you know what? I need to be confident in myself and really pursue my dream and pursue my music. Um, what words of encouragement would you provide to them? So protect your neck. <laughs> protect yourself. Protect your neck. <laughs> Don't let nobody give you any glitz, glitter and glam and sidetrack you. Protect your intelligence and protect yourself. Hmm. If, 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 I'm not saying don't ever sign, if you want to sign, if that's what works for you, make sure you read all the fine prints and pray on it. <laughs> Definitely heavy on, heavy on prayer, pray on it. But if, stay as independent as you possibly can. It feels better and it pays out and it's better. Yeah, it pays out better when you're an indie, indie artist. And you get more, I would say, to put more of your touch on it. Okay, so you're like more creative, creative. Yeah, a little more creative stand. and control. Yeah, but I am looking into distribution deals and stuff like that. But right. try to stay as independent as you guys can. That's All what right. I. Do. You heard it here. You heard it here first, guys. She, Miss Empress J, done gave you a word. Okay, so take it or leave it. Protect your neck. She okay. Said. okay. We need to put that in the pool. Oh, yes. <laughs> that need to go. You got merchandise. There you go. <laughs> Protect your neck. Protect your neck. Okay. Your neck. Um, once again, <laughs> listen, I love the energy. I thank you so much for definitely yeah. coming through. It was speaking such an with honor. Us. It was an honor definitely just to have this conversation with you. Um, guys, uh, please let the audience know, like, you want to shoot your tags down, everything, anything of that nature in the, in the comments. Um, just let them know where they can really, you know, find you, all your social tags. And your businesses. And your businesses, all of it. You can find me. You can click the link in my bio. Um, all, once you type in Empress with two Zs on Google, you find my business, my website, E-M-P-R-E-Z-Z-J-A-Y, Empress J, with two Zs, and I'll pop up. YouTube, check out the new single. She's showing up, too, because I Google her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bye. Um, these are title. I'm everywhere. Empress with two J, Empress J. And it was wonderful being here, and I appreciate you. And stay strong and keep your business going. Don't ever stop because geniuses you guys are. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> All right, Queen, have a good yeah. evening. Thank oh, you so, so much, much for tuning in with us. All right. Enjoy your night. All right. Good night. Bye. Okay. Man. <sighs>